What's up, fellow Earthlings? Today we are going to be doing some maintenance and like the title says, we're staying busy while it ain't easy. We have three trucks down guys, that's right, Big Red here, my new Freightliner and my GMC all have problems preventing us from driving them right now. So today we're going to get some shit done. We've uh, lowered the ads way down and almost turned them completely off so that the uh, the calls don't get overwhelming while we're trying to get these trucks fixed. One's in the shop, we're working on the Freightliner now, and the Big Red is just going to have to wait because it needs a new CV axle. I could probably just take the CV axle off, but we're going to save that for last. Like I said, we want to get our two money makers going. That's what today's video is going to be about. We'll give you some awesome tips to uh, stay busy and keep things going even when all your trucks are broken down. All right, you guys, it's time for the shout out of the day. It's not working. Bro, oh, bro, I forgot to tell you, I put it in the box today. Oh. The shout out of the day's in there. Hold on, let me see this flap. Oh, there it is, the shout out of the day, guys. Thank you to this person for constantly commenting on my channel and consistently keeping in touch with us. We appreciate all of you subscribers. You're amazing, this person right here. You're amazing, you're amazing, you're amazing. Stay tuned for amazing. some amazing information. 14 millimeter. Today we're gonna to be replacing this here. It's an air dryer on the truck. And that air dryer is gonna go right here. We've already taken this air dryer apart. And we were originally just gonna replace the filter, but we know the dryer is going bad as well. So we're just gonna go ahead and replace the whole thing. And we bought an extra filter. Uh, for the you know they say you have to they say you have to change the filter every six months so that's why we bought another filter here just to be ahead first we're gonna need to remove the hoses from the bottom of the air dryer and then after we remove the hoses we take the two bolts that we left in there from taking it apart take those bolts out and we are able to remove the bottom piece of the air dryer we're gonna put our new air dryer in that spot it's gonna be a couple of bolts and a couple of hoses back in place one sensor and it's done so super simple we're hoping that this is actually the problem because if it's not we're gonna have to do some more digging and troubleshooting and figure it out so Richard removed one of the hose fittings already and let's see if we can get a good close-up to the inside of this it's pretty gunked up in there guys if you can see uh in there at all yeah look at that there's just nasty gunk all up in this thing it's like baby poo yeah so this is uh really important and i'm hoping that this is the problem so what this piece does that we're replacing right now is uh essentially it's a filter it filters out the water and the little bit of oil that comes through the system of the compression uh, so what it is is that it's a filter and a dryer it will literally filter out the water and at the same time blow that water out of the valve down below you guys I'm sure have driven by semi trucks and you hear that loud <laughs> with the air brakes and what that is is it's blowing out moisture in the system and also uh, decompressing uh, if it's oh, if it's filling up over a certain amount um, is decompressing a little bit of air getting rid of moisture at the same time so that's what this piece does we're replacing and we're hoping that our psi will go up to uh, full pressure and we'll be able to have our truck back and use our air brakes and be all smooth from here stay tuned to find out if we get her fixed while richard is cleaning out the brass fittings that we're going to put on the new dryer i am filming this <laughs> um obviously 
Guys, I want you to please hit that like button for me and subscribe down to, down below if you liked this video. I appreciate it. You know I'm always going to keep it 100% with you guys about what's going on in our lives and our in our business. Right now we're having a hard time. So support me by liking, subscribing, commenting on the channel and that will be greatly appreciated. Thank you so much. How are we looking, Richard? Almost there. All right, bro. Look at it. And one line. All right. Another quick thing, if you guys have watched my pressure washing build, I have a video, I'll put the link right here. I built a pressure washing rig and we were gonna start offering that service and we did. We got a few jobs, but like I said, they were from my family in a previous video. I did those jobs for my family. Um, we did a couple of bids, but we never actually landed a solid job that made us any money because this is a really hard market. So I would say stay away from the pressure washing market, guys. Uh, I learned big time because I spent about three thousand dollars on building this rig and uh, I didn't really make any money from it it's a great rig don't get me wrong it's a great way to build it uh, but maybe I just don't know how to market so anyway we're just gonna keep one pressure washer we're gonna sell the tank and we're gonna take apart the rig uh, and use the trailer to haul things I make mistakes guys I'm just a regular everyday person and uh, I take lots and lots of risks you cannot go anywhere in life unless you take risks so just make sure that if you're trying to become an entrepreneur, you do your best and you take as many risks as, that are ne as you take as many risks as necessary uh, to to do what you have to do. So I appreciate you watching my channel and just make sure that uh, you take the right risk and that you take the the calculated risks and you do all your research before you take whatever it is, whatever venture you're about to embark on. Make sure you do the research and uh, that it's the right thing for you before you get started. If it's not, stop it, nip it in the butt, try something else, do something new, move on. I've done so many things in life to make money and uh, I only stick with the ones that actually work. It's close to the end of the year and I'm glad this uh, stuff is happening to me now. They say all bad things happen in threes and if that's the case, I'm done with bad things for a while because all three of my trucks are broke down. My GMC, you might know this already, is in the shop for a DEF delete. It's a diesel exhaust fluid delete, which means that I will no longer need to use diesel exhaust fluid in my truck. Yes, I know it's illegal, but guys, they give you no option. This part that I'm ordering is literally on back order. It's um. And it's just ridiculous. They make it super hard for you to get it done and get it fixed and, and make your truck run. We can't drive more than four miles per hour. I have to be able to use my truck. So I'm getting this delete done. I'm usually all about the environment and I'm gonna be using the smokeless delete uh, and the fuel saving and economy saving delete. I'm gonna use the mode that is most earth friendly, guys. You can guarantee that. So that's what's going on with the GMC, the Chevy, is uh, giving me some CV axle problems, guys. Yesterday, we used the Chevy all day. Here's some clips I'll insert right here. We used the Chevy all day to do a drop-off, a pickup, um, and another drop-off at the end of the day. And by the end of the day, on the way back from picking up the part to fix the truck behind me, uh, we went to Ocala, which is an hour drive there and on the way back the hour drive back about 30 minutes into it the cv axle started clicking and knocking and squeaking so uh, we drove very slow and carefully back home we got home uh, safely without anything happening but i need to get that fixed now so every single truck has a problem we're fixing the freightliner truck problem right now my boys uh, down at the deland transmission shop they're fixing my GMC right now. Shout out to you, Sam and Josh. Thanks, guys. I appreciate you. And, uh, uh, you know, leave a comment down below so everybody can know who you guys are and hit me with that like. I appreciate you. Anyways, let's get on with the video. Oh, bro, I can't wait to start this bitch up, man. I'm super excited. How about you? Uh, right now, putting the new air dryer and filter in place 
Gotta connect a couple of hoses, guys. We'll be able to start this thing up and see if this is the problem. We're really just troubleshooting, figuring it out. We literally have, let's see, five dumpsters in the yard right now and every single one of them is full. This one's full, even though you can't see it. This one's full, this one's full. And if I can sneak a peek through the crack there, that's actually six dumpsters, look at that. So we have one dumpsters out, ladies and gentlemen, and all the dumpsters here are full. Look how much our trucks being down is setting us back. But we can still afford to be open. So it just shows that we're doing something right, guys. And when you're slow, take advantage of that time. Get your stuff fixed. We can't dump our containers, but that's okay. As soon as we get one truck fixed, we'll dump each container as we sell it. And that way, uh, the, the expenses don't come out as soon as, uh, as they don't have to. Basically, if they're sitting here full of trash, that means we don't have to dump them and pay that dump fee yet. When we sell the dumpster or use it for a junk removal, we're going to make money with it. So we go dump it, go make some more money with it, and that way it doesn't hurt as bad. Uh, that's something that we kind of do on purpose sometimes, but in this case, kind of sucks, guys. It's just we're stuck, you know? We're doing what we have to do, and I promise you, I promise you, a couple of weeks, maybe even earlier than that, uh, right when we get into January, we're gonna be busy. We're gonna be rocking and rolling. And we're gonna be uh, making lots of money with both of these trucks, the GMC and the Freightliner. And I'm just glad all these problems popped up right now, like I said before. Don't forget to hit that like button, guys, and uh, support this channel. Really appreciate it. You just said start it, bro? Start it. Did you just say start it, bro? Start it up. Richard, did you just say start it, bro? Start it up! <laughs> all, right, all right, I just want to see if I can piss him off. Let's start it up. He said he got it all on. Here we go, guys. The moment of truth. The moment of truth here. The key is in. Oh, yeah. Wait for it. Wait for all the beeping and clicking, engaging. All right. Moment of truth. The engine started, and we're off. Now guys, if our two needles, we have this needle and this needle, this is what we're paying attention to. If they start to rise pretty quickly, after I engage this right here, which is gonna raise the RPMs to 1500. So I'm raising to 1500. Now you can see that these are going up at a good rate, and uh, what we're looking for here is it needs to go past 45, it needs to go past 50, it needs to do uh, what it was made to do. So we will see if what we replaced fixed the problem. This here and this here, those two lights mean that we don't have enough air yet to use our air brake system. So that's what that means. That's why it's, it's climbing. Um, we'll see if it gets past what it usually goes to. So yeah, those two there. That's what that means, it's telling me I don't have enough air yet to use my air brakes or my air system at all. Uh, so we need past 60 pounds for that to shut off. Let's see if we can get it. It looks like it stopped. I'm kind of upset right now. It shouldn't take that long, it's brand new, right? Shit. Everything's in place and there's no leaks anywhere. So it has to be something else if this compression doesn't go up soon. I don't know what it is, guys. If anybody watching this channel knows about diesel trucks, I just changed the air dryer um, and obviously the filter inside of it. I also changed on the other side the air governor. Brand new air governor on this side. Right in there, I changed the air governor the other day. My my buddy Henry, uh, I'm sorry, my buddy Harry helped me change the air uh, the air governor the other day, and uh, yeah, so we changed those two parts. It doesn't look like it's going up any right now. It's kind of disappointing. 
Hey, what's up fellow Earthlings? So unfortunately, that's it. That's the end of the video. We never got the truck fixed. We continued troubleshooting, watching YouTube videos, and doing our best to figure it out. Right now, I have a guy, a mechanic, coming in on Thursday, which is tomorrow, and they should be able to fix the Freightliner. Now, the GMC should be fixed by Thursday or Friday, and the big red truck, like I said, I'm waiting till the very end to fix that because I wanna make sure my two money makers are up and running. Thank you for watching this video, guys. I appreciate it. And like I said, right now, we just need your support by hitting that like button and subscribing down below. Also, share this if you made it to the end of the video. Leave a comment down below so I know that you're one of the uh, subscribers that really like watching my videos. I appreciate you guys, um, like always. I can never say that enough. Thank you so much, and until next time, my name's Austin Hires. We'll see you then.